Good morning, friends around the world. Let's continue our meditation series inspired by the popular book, Body, Mind, and Spirit, published through Hazelden. In today's meditation, I'd like us to consider the words of Thich Nhat Hanh as he speaks of impermanence. He once said, Thanks to impermanence, everything is possible. Life itself is possible. If a grain of corn is not impermanent, it can never be transformed into a stock of corn. If the stock were not impermanent, it could never provide us with the ear corn we eat. And Jesus once said, Unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Understanding impermanence can give us confidence, peace, and joy. Impermanence does not necessarily lead us to suffering. Without impermanence, life could not be. Without impermanence, your daughter could not grow up into a beautiful young lady. Without impermanence, oppressive political regimes would never change. We think impermanence makes us suffer. The Buddha gave the example of a dog that was hit by a stone and got angry at the stone. It is not impermanence that makes us suffer. What makes us suffer is wanting things to be permanent when they are not. Some days it seems like our struggles will never end. The pain, the loss, the heartaches, the failures. We can recount them all, can't we? Where is the strength to go on? What if we began our day acknowledging that all things pass? That given time, effort, and patience, we can accept or accomplish most anything. But patience does not mean complacency. On the contrary, each day in life requires a new attitude, a new outlook that in time generates its own positive energy for growth and change. <laughs> or not. We need strength and patience, not only in the difficult moments of life, but in the easier ones too. The days of comfort, when things seem to be going almost too well. Soon we can look back across the months and see our growth. As the skills of the dancer or the carpenter increase with time and patience, so do our skills in life. As we grow, becoming even more patient, we become even more in tune with God and the promise of a new life. Let's spend the rest of the time we have together this morning and consider these things. In the life we live, can I think of anything that is not impermanent? Can I embrace impermanence in my suffering?
and I embrace impermanence in my joy. Today, grant me the patience to live in the moment. <laughs> 